Louis, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Lui, credo che questo sia l'inizio di una bellissima amicizia. Louis, 我觉得我们的友谊即将开启一个美好的篇章。Hey everyone, most people that are checking out AI at all have heard of Eleven Labs. Eleven Labs does, and has, led the way in voice cloning and speech synthesis since the AI boom started. One of their newer features that I kind of overlooked and just used on my newest video is the ability to dub or translate audio. What's crazy about this feature is that not only does it do it super quickly, it also does it while keeping the original voice. So that's why you can hear me now speaking fluent Spanish in my last video. This feature does, however, use quite a lot of your credits, which Eleven Labs just calls characters. And though it does allow you to use the basic dubbing features with your free 10,000 credits, you'd be limited to five minutes at the absolute maximum amount of dubbing for the entire month. So be very sparing on how you use it. I wouldn't really consider this a personal translator for regular use. But more for just special projects where it's not just you hearing the results. If you're on a paid plan, you then are able to access the dubbing studio, which allows much more control over the translation and the timing. It does, however, use more credits than the basic dubbing feature, roughly two and a half times as much. So even at the cheap five dollar starting package, your character limit of thirty thousand can vanish very quickly, especially if you're using the dubbing studio. And don't forget that these characters are used for all of their features combined. I'll let you decide what is the best plan for you. One thing, as far as pricing plans, that's kind of weird is that you need to go up to the creator level in order to not have a watermark on your output. The funny thing is that the watermark is put on the video, which is the part that shouldn't really matter. But whatever. Now let's take a look. When at the Eleven Labs website. Which is Eleven Labs. Io. Select the dubbing option on the left. And before I continue, I want to apologize on behalf of Eleven Labs for not having a dark mode. Kind of ridiculous that they don't have one yet. This top box is just basic information, giving you ideas of what you can use the feature for. Well, I'm in the first category, but also the last category. But I can see this being very useful for many different cases. You can feel free to close that box so that it doesn't come up anymore, since it's just extra information. The first option is to name your project if you wish. Someone asked me to do a different language of the video I've already done, so I'll start with that as an example. Then, based on your source audio, whether it's on its own or in a video, choose the current language, or you can just trust the self-detection. And then, choose the language or languages you want it translated into. You can choose multiple languages at the same time to have it all done together. I'm just going to do the one at the moment, and you can see the counter in the top right of the target language for how many languages you have chosen. At this point, it's up to you to supply the audio or video. You can either upload a file from your computer, or you can choose one of the online options and enter a direct link to the source. Instead of taking the time to upload my video, I'm just going to take the easy route and enter the URL to the YouTube video that I'm translating. Once the link is entered, you can see a status below that, once updated, will tell you an approximation of how many characters it will use up. If you click on the advanced settings, you can see a few other options that could be important to your output. First, choose the amount of speakers, in other words, people talking in your audio or video. Again, you can have it auto detect, or you can manually tell it how many there are. I'm assuming that by telling it ahead of time, you won't have to worry about it messing up in any way. The video resolution is only available to change if you are on the creator or higher paid plan. I have zero use for the video anyway, so it doesn't matter to me. The next option I could see being very useful. I don't for these particular videos. However, if you know a certain range of your video that you need translated and not the whole thing, this can help with both the length of time to process and save on the use of characters. The last option is to either turn off the watermark or not. And how it affects the amount of characters used. The watermark can only be turned off if you have the creator or higher paid plan. But once again, I don't care about the video, so the watermark has no adverse effect on me. Yeah, and that's really it for the settings. Name it if you want. Choose the languages. Upload or input the source file, and then a few other tweaks, and you're good to go. 
Just hit the create button and wait for the process to finish below. Then download the file and you should have your newly translated audio or video file. And done. Hopefully you found this helpful. As always, I'd appreciate it if you would like and subscribe and take a second to leave a comment and share this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Louis, I think that this is the beginning of a great friendship. Louis, I think it's the beginning of a great friendship. Louis, I think it's the beginning of a wonderful friendship. Louis, I think this is the beginning of a wonderful friendship. Louis, I think this is the beginning of a wonderful friendship. Louis, Uri, Arim, Down, Ujong, Shi, Jakarta. Louis, myślę, że to początek pięknej przyjaźni. Louis, ja się w komisu, du ma bela mi żad. Louis, du maju, eta načelo prekrasnej družby. Louis, kreo, kestes el inicio de una hermosa amistad.